classification of primates. Today we will see the next topic tertiary and quaternary fossils. See, in the Cenozoic era, which is the current era, it's according to some scholars, started some 70 million years ago and is the current era, so it is the current running one. According to some other scholars, it started in 66 million years ago and is continuing. So always in archaeology we have this uh, conflict of time periods which keep on revising. For our purpose I am taking 66 million years ago to present. See so the Cenozoic era has these two periods, tertiary and quaternary period. So according to this standard I can say that tertiary period is 66, 66 million years ago to 11,700 years ago and the next one quaternary period is 11,700 years ago to present. So please take down. See, according to some sources, this is 10,000 years ago, and it will be 10,000 years, 10,000 be 10,000 years BC to present. It hardly matters. Concept is more important. See, in tertiary period, you have different epochs, like you have Paleocene epoch. So according to this time frame, it is 66 million years ago to 56 million years ago. Eocene epoch is 56 million years ago to 34 million years ago. Oligocene. is this 34 million years ago to 23 million years ago. Neocene epoch is 23 million years ago to 5.3 million years ago. Then after that you have Pleocene which is 5.3 million years ago 2.60 right 2.6 million years ago so this becomes 2.6 million years ago to present now in quaternary period you have two epochs Pleistocene epoch which is 2.6 million years ago to 11,700 years ago and at present we are in Holocene epoch which is 11,700 years to present. So this is approximate time duration. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we are in Cenozoic era. 
this Sinojoic era has two periods, tertiary period and quaternary period. So tertiary period has these five epochs, Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene, Pliocene and then quaternary epoch you have Pleistocene and Holocene. Here all these time durations there is somewhere it is 3 million years ago to present. So this is 3 million years to 10,000, this is 10,000 years BC to present. So don't be bothered about the time duration. So the fossil primates related to these ones we will see. Yes, you have taken down. Selecting the right optional subject for the UPSC exam can be a daunting task, especially if you are aiming to succeed on your first attempt. But what if there is a crucial element that could make all the difference? That element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IES Academy. Our Anthropology Optional Foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by N.P. Kishore sir, ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks such as Akanksha Singh, 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Chaudhary Shipra Vijay Kumar, 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Ajink Kumar, who cracked UPSC in his first attempt and many more. With daily feedback and structured practice, you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination. With our focused feedback and structured practice, you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.